so welcome to the LTE OTA demo. It's over the air demo for 4G technology that we are working on. It's called LTE Long Term Evolution. Uh, so what you're going to see here today is a over the air drive through demo uh, which is of the LTE network. We are operating over 10 MHz FDD channel. Uh, the frequency band that we use is AWS band 4 frequency which is 1725 uplink and uh, 2125 MHz downlink. Um, so the, the cell phone that we are using is our own prototype which sits at the back of this van. It's called the user equipment, the UE. And we have three base stations deployed over a radius of three miles. The three base stations are on the roof of three Qualcomm buildings. One is on the roof of this building and two other base stations are on the roof of two other buildings which are a mile away. So a radius of around three miles. And as we drive over uh, this drive route, we will see that the UE will do a handover from one base station to another base station depending on the coverage of every base station. Uh, we are 3GPP spec compliant with uh, March 09. This might have changed, uh, so don't take my word on this. It, it's a little old slide. Um, as I mentioned, we have three base stations and even the base stations are, are our own prototype. So we don't use a third party base station. Uh, all the products right now that corporate R&D, research and development are working on is a FPGA based platform, it's not a commercial platform. But the software stack that we run on it is a commercial software stack and that is being used by QCT, Qualcomm CDMA Technologies to commercialize LTE. Uh, the data rates that you will see today in this drive is peaking at 33 megabits per second downlink and uplink is around 2.3 megabits per second. Uh, in the lab, however, we are doing over a cabled up environment 50 megabits per second downlink and up to 16 megabits per second uplink. But over the air, since we have, uh, we are still op optimizing our network, we will not see 50 megabits per second right now. We are still working on a few advanced features like power control. And uh, QCT is doing 75 megabits per second. So that's the commercial chipset. the applications that we are showing here. <clears throat> so on this screen we see uh, video conferencing. It's a two-way video conference. That's our network operating center. That's our network operating center. He's uh, our teammate, our team lead, Chan, and he operates the base stations, and uh, we operate the UE over here in the van. So what he does is he sees the the parameters that the the, the parameters that we send over the air back to the base station. So he's monitoring all those parameters, and this is two meg downlink, two megabits per second uplink. We have video streaming, which is eight megabits per second downlink. We have pings on the uplink which tell you the round trip time over the network. So if you look at the histogram, the histogram is peaking at around 11 milliseconds. That's typically the average round trip time over the network. We fill the remaining bandwidth with TCP. So it basically um, negotiates the remaining bandwidth and it fills it up with TCP. And over here we have a gaming application. So this is basically the white cube is running over the cell phone, over our UE, and the blue cube is running over the base station. The blue cube will try to catch up with the white cube and the distance between the two cubes is the latency over the network. So it's more like a real-time application and it gives you a visual perception of the latency. And this is the average latency, 24 milliseconds. And as we drive around, you'll see that these numbers will change. <coughs> Over here, we have the physical layer parameters that we use for testing. So this is the downlink signal strength or the power level that the UV is seeing from the base station right now. As we drive around, this power level will change. This is the cell ID of the base station that we are currently camped on. As we drive around, when we see a handover, you will see this changing. So we hand over from one base station to another. 
The best part about this demo is the quality of service. What that means is every application is running on a dedicated bearer and every bearer has a different priority. So when we do a handover, uh, you're going to see that the TCP is on lower priority. So it's going to drop from 10 megabits per second to 1 or 2 megabits per second. But the video is on a higher priority, so the video will not stop at all. So it's quality of service. So uh, we'll go for a short drive and I will let you know when the handovers happen. So we saw a few handovers over here. We see that the TCP has dropped from 23 to 1 or 3 megabits per second but the video did not stop. So that's priority of the bearers.